you would like to answer the question, yeah, please. Okay. Well, uh, there are not several Islams. There is one Judaism, one Christianity, one Islam. But in each and every religion, there are different legitimate interpretations of the principle of, of faith and different understanding how the principles of the past should be applied in our modern world. And there is a degree of pluralism among the Shiite clergy. When Khomeini came to Iran, say in 1979, there have been seven grand Ayatollahs. None of them supported Ayatollah Khomeini. Today in Iran, there are so many clerics in jail. There are so many clerics with different opinions. Uh, a few months ago, Ayatollah Montazari passed away. And he did, the man who was picked up by Khomeini to be his successor, later on was removed from grace and was not allowed to speak to his students. So there are different attitudes within the Islamic establishment. What Khomeini has done, <coughs> he took one radical interpretation, brought it from the margin of the religious establishment to the center, and in the case of Iran, to power, influencing other radical movements like the Hamas and Islam. Is there then a, a great gap between the is, is Iranian people and the regime? <coughs> yeah, I think there is certainly a growing gap between the regime and the people. The regime uh, raises issues that are not necessarily the main uh, concern of the people. Even on the issue of Israel, I think that the policy of the regime of debt to Israel, that you Israel should be eliminated, I don't think that the people of Iran wake up in the morning and they ask themselves, what can I do today against the Jewish state of Israel? Uh, the gap has been shown recently after the elections uh, of, of the president in June in the, uh, 2009. You saw the people going to the streets and demonstrating with chanting slogans against this government, slogans death to dictatorship, and you can certainly sense that the young people of Iran are now all struggling to bring the revolution on its natural track or change the policy of the uh, regime that is in power in Iran. For many people, this was not the reality. It do not conform with their aims of 1979. Do you believe that um, as far as the Iranian regime today is concerned, it's not Israel or the U.S. as the great Satan, it's Western civilization as a whole. Well, yes, I do fully agree. I think that, you know, Israel is a small country. Uh, it's not really the aim of the Iranians. Uh, it is in the Middle East, it touches some of their sensitive uh, nerves, but I think that the, by and large, the enemy of Iran, uh, or the, they view themselves as competing for the, with the United States on the control of, to be the leading ideology of the world. For them, Western civilization was based on two pillars, communist Russia and capitalist America.